Hello and welcome, it's Demi here, and I am so excited to share some tips and tricks with you guys today on how to add more texture and dimension to your mandala paintings. But before we jump in, I just wanna remind you that I do offer online courses such as my brush strokes course. I also have brush stroke practice sheets and large mandala masterclasses. On top of that, I also have a Patreon subscription and that is where I teach weekly live classes for an affordable monthly cost. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please make sure to check out all of the links in the description of this video and let's get into it. Okay, so one of the number one questions I get asked on social media is how I get so much texture in my paintings. So I have always been obsessed with texture. I love dimensional dots and swooshes. Um, so today I have a collection of puffy paint or dimensional paint. So for this video, we are gonna go through and swatch all the different types so that you can see how they make dots, how they make swooshes and just the different textures of each one and then you can decide which one you like best and I'll share my personal opinions on these as we go. Um, but some of these I found in the local craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby and a few of them are actually fabric paint so they were found in the like fabric painting section of the craft store but we will just start. I'm going to start with this tulip brand so these ones I got at Michael's. You can also find them just online or on Amazon. So this one is Tulip Puff Paint. And then these ones are Tulip Dimensional Fabric Paint. So first we are going to test out this Tulip Puff Paint. And I'm just gonna grab a paper towel because I like to do a little squeeze onto a paper towel before I do it onto the surface I'm working on, just to make sure the air bubbles are out. So I'm going to be making a swoosh and a dot for each one of these. So starting with a dot and then I'm using my stylus. to drag. So that one drags into a tiny little point. I feel like it drags okay. Not like super smooth. And then As you can see, it has a little point. Sometimes the little points go down when they dry. So we're just gonna have to wait until these all dry to see how the final texture is. So this is Tulip Puff. Okay, now we're going to try the Tulip Puffy fabric paint. That one drags pretty nicely. Yeah. And as you can see, all of these have a lot of body, a lot of texture, but we do also just want to see how they dry. So that is Tulip Puffy fabric. Now this is another Tulip Metallics fabric.
Next, we are going to try out this Make Market. This is from Michael's Dimensional Fabric Paint. So that one does not makes swooshes very well. It doesn't drag down great. It's just a different consistency. It's not terrible. It still makes pretty like leaf patterns. And there's a large dot. So that's the make market. Next, we will try this Arteza. 3D fabric paint. I got this one on Amazon, but they have other colors too. Oh, let me write these down. Okay, so Arteza. So that one is really nice and thick. So most of these have little peaks so far, that one not so much. So that's just a personal preference. I personally don't like the little peak when I make my dots, but again, those might go down a little bit once they dry, so we'll just keep an eye on them. And then, we are gonna try these Scribbles 3D fabric paint. This one I also got at Michael's. Whoa, that came out fast. So that is Scribbles 3D fabric paint. Next, we're going to try these bliss drops. These are created by Terra Deserted Bliss. So these make really great swooshes. As you can see, the other ones are very thick, so they only make like a little tail when you swoosh. These ones just spread a lot easier so you can take the swoosh farther. So really great consistency. And hers also make really great dots that don't have a peak. Next, we're going to use Nuvo. These are my personal favorite that I use very often. These also spread pretty easily. They make really great swooshes and they also dry without a peak, which is nice. So we'll see, hopefully that one goes down. You can see the bliss drops are very smooth, which is nice. So those are Nuvo. And last, we're going to try the liquid pearls. These you can also get on Amazon.
that those ones spread really nicely too. So that is so look at all that texture and dimension. Tulip puffy, tulip puffy fabric paint, tulip metallic fabric, make market. Arteza, Scribbles, Bliss Drops, Nuvo, Liquid Pearls. So the important part is to wait for these to fully dry and see how they dry, whether they have peaks or if they flatten out. So we are going to let these dry and then we'll come back and see which ones we like best. So here is how all of these dried. So we can kind of go through the tulip like it made good swooshes it does it did leave like a little bit of a peak so that's the tulip puff puffy then this is the tulip puffy fabric so that one doesn't have as much dimension as some of the other ones but still is really good tulip metallic fabric so that one didn't leave like too much of a peak the make mark, which is this one, that one did leave a little bit of a peak. So did the Arteza. Scribbles, dried pretty flat. The Bliss Drops, no peaks. Nuvo doesn't have any peaks. And then the Liquid Pearl did dry with a peak. So peaks aren't necessarily bad. It's really just a personal preference. So I just want to go through these. So my favorite is Nubo. Bliss drops are great. Um, I really like the like texture that the uh, Arteza has in those um, swoops. But yeah, all of these are great for getting extra texture and dimension. Again, it's just a preference if you like them to look more like a pearl or if you want the peaks. But there is our little sample test. Okay, so the sun decided to come out today. So I wanted to show you guys these in the sunlight. Now they're fully dry and they all dried with a little peak except for Bliss Drops and Nuvo. So the rest of them, as you can see, have a little peak. The Tulip ones, the second ones, the Tulip Puffy fabric and the Tulip Metallic fabric, those ones weren't too bad. Again, it's just a personal preference. Some people like a little peak, but if you don't, Nuvo and Bliss Drops dried the most rounded but all of them pretty much work really well for making those really textured swooshes all right i hope you guys found that video helpful and we'll see you on the next one